see here we have two MCQ questions, multiple choice questions, question number 21 and 22. Let's first look at question number 21. The antiderivative of root x plus 1 by root x equals, there are four options given, a, b, c, d. You have to find out which one of these will be correct. So let's just proceed. Antiderivative is nothing but integral of this function. That is you want to find out integral of this function. That means you have to integrate integrate root x plus 1 by root x dx. Now if you want to integrate this is straight away based on power rule. This is x to the power of half plus x to the power of minus half dx. Root x is x to the power of half. 1 by root x can be written as x to the power of minus half. Now you integrate this. This is x to the power of half plus 1 over half plus 1 plus x to the power of minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1 plus the constant of integration. Okay. So <clears throat> this will now become x to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 half plus 1 is 3 by 2 plus x to the power of 1 minus half that is half divided by minus half plus 1 that is also half plus c ok I will write the further answer here so this is now coming as x to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 so this 2 goes to the numerator it becomes 2 by 3 because 3 by 2 is the denominator becomes 2 by 3 into x to the power of 3 by 2 plus half is there in the denominator 1 by half so it becomes 2 times of x to the power of half plus c so I have to now find out which one is matching among the 4 this is 2 by 3 it begins with 2 by 3 so our answer should be with 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 this has got 2 by 3 and uh, 2 times of x to the power of half yes this one no not this one that one but 2 by 3 x to the power of 3 by 2 this is 2 by 3 x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 2 times it x to the power of uh, 3 by 2 plus c is given uh, 2 by 3 x to the power of 3 by 2 so how much we got here this is x to the power of half ok so which answer is matching which answer is matching which answer is matching this one, this one, this one, yes, this should be half here, then it matches, okay. So 2 by 3 x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 2x x to the power of half plus c, okay. We'll do the other one. Let me just clear this. Okay. If d by dx of f of x, what is given? It's given that the differential coefficient of the function f of x of some function f of x is 4x cube minus 3 by x to the power of 4 and f of 2 is 0 then you have to find out f of x differential coefficient of f of x is 4x cube minus 3x so what is just f of x so just f of x is the integration of this function integration of 4x cube minus 3 by x to the power of 4 because you know differentiation is the reverse process of integration so let me just integrate this this is 4 into integral x cube dx minus 3 into integral x to the power minus 4 dx so 4 into x to the power of 4 by 4 because 
if you integrate x cube, x to the power of 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 minus 3 into x to the power of minus 4 plus 1 that is minus 3 by minus 3 plus c so 4 and 4 cancel here this is x to the power of 4 and 3 and 3 also cancel minus divided by minus becomes plus plus x to the power of minus 3 is 1 by x cube plus c so it is x to the power 4 plus 1 by x cube plus c uh, x to the power 4 plus 1 by x cube and we do not know the value of c these two are matching with x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 3 plus c c could be minus 129 by 8 or plus 129 by 8 that we have to check it up now to find out the value of c what we do is it is given that f of 2 is 0 given right now given f of 2 is 0 given f of 2 is 0 ok so f of x we got as x to the power 4 plus 1 by x cube plus c and f of 2 is 0 implies in place of x I have to put 2 now 2 to the power of 4 plus 1 by 2 cube plus c equals 0 2 to the power of 4 2 multiplied 4 times it is 16 plus 1 by 8 plus c equals 0 so if you simplify you get c equals minus 129 by 8 taking LCM 16 into 8 128 plus 1 yeah minus 129 by 8 so this is the right answer so this is x to the power 4 plus 1 by x cube minus 129 by 8 because we got c as minus 129 by 8 so here we have option a is the correct answer okay